The surprise hawkish pause of interest rates by the US Federal Reserve snapped Dalal Street's three-day winning streak on Thursday, June 15th. Domestic benchmark indices, the S&P BSC Sensex and Nifty 50, declined 0.5% and 0.4% respectively. After 10 straight rate hikes since March 2022, the Fed's rate-setting committee kept the benchmark lending rate unchanged at 5 to 5.25%. The US, though signalled two more quarter points hike later this year, given their 2% target inflation. Analysts believe this could bring fresh market volatility in the near term, as the second rate hike forecast was not fully priced in. In terms of uh, volatility, uh, we believe that there could be near term volatility in Indian markets, uh, especially on the back of uh, what we've, uh, uh, the rally we've seen uh, of late in the last two odd months. Uh, this volatility can be uh, easily navigated because there would not be any liquidity pressure uh, from uh, global markets. The Fed dot plot, a chart that estimates what the federal funds rate should be, showed policymakers expect rates to rise in the range of 5.5 to 5.75% by 2023 end. Half of 18 Fed officials penciled in the dot at that level, while one official pegged it to rise above 6%. As most global central banks, including the Fed, remain data-dependent, analysts opine that more hikes could be in the offing if the inflation data disappoints. A Purva Sate of Samco Securities, for instance, said, The chances of further rate hikes in 2023 are slim. US inflation at 4% is already placed below the US interest rates of 5.25%. Inflation is clearly on its way down and Fed won't have to tinkle with rates unless there is a nasty surprise on the inflation front. That said, despite these rates hiked by the US Fed, analysts assert foreign flows into India would stay immune due to strong macros. End of the tunnel is seen. So I think you know, uh, emerging market will be a place where they would like to invest. You know, India is still attractive for anyone to invest. And you know, whatever uh, data we are getting, China has become a very difficult country to invest and take money away from them. So, no, that way India is where you, know, you can make money. So you know, India is a preferred destination according to me. Overall, though analysts expect equities to experience some volatility in the near term, strong macros are likely to favour in the long term. Today, on June 16, global queues, foreign flows and crude oil prices will continue to guide markets. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. She's working her way to the corner office. Business Standard.